So this is the yarn that we used for our project. It's called Burnout Baby Velvet. We used a size H hook, which is an eight five millimeter hook. This is my Susan Bates Comfort Grip that I like to use. Um, you can get this yarn at yarnspirations.com and um, they sent they did send this to us though so that we could try this out. So anyway, that's the yarn that we're using. Um, Hannah, however, the blanket is in the color, can't ever remember, Misty Gray, Misty Gray. Okay, so for this swatch, I'm gonna go ahead and put an even number of chains on my hook. And I think I'll just do about 20. And I think that that will get us a good sample. Um, one thing I do want to say about the velvet though, and why I really encourage you to do a little practice swatch first is to make sure that um, once you can see how velvet works up and see if this is the right size hook for, for your personal tension, you might want to even go down a size um, because it's very slippery yarn. It is very slippery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, here we go, 19, 20. So this pattern starts with one row of regular half double crochet starting in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. And it is a little bit tricky, I will say, to find those loops. You kind of get a feel for it, but that's another reason why I think you want to play around with this velvet first to really get the hang of finding those loops. I mean, you can do it. You kind of just have to use... I mean, obviously, I would say that this isn't super beginner friendly um, yarn. This pattern is very beginner friendly, but working with burnout velvet isn't very beginner friendly because you kind of do need to know where the chains are, that kind of thing, how to find the underneath the loop. Because I'm sure you can tell that it's not, it's not very easy to find. Okay, let me show you what a half double crochet is in case I'm going way too fast. I'm yarning over, I'm inserting my hook underneath that top loop, loop of the chain. I'm yarning over and pulling a loop back through. Then I'm yarning over and pulling through all three loops on my hook. That's called, in US terms, a half double crochet. And thank you to um, those of you who are in other countries who have left me comments to remind me that we don't all, I wish there was a standard um, way of stitches and hook sizes and all of that, but of course it's all different. So going forward, yes, I will try to remember to say that, you know, hook sizes in the US, we really only go by the letter, but I guess in other countries, um, they go by the millimeter. So if I didn't say this is a 5.0 millimeter hook. Okay, that is a row of all half double crochet. I am going to chain two and turn. Now on this row, we are using a stitch called the front two loop half double crochet. And what that really means is we are just simply working underneath the, the two loops that a half double crochet makes that are facing you. You know, there's these two, so I'm kind of coming up from underneath, still just working a half double crochet stitch. No different there. It's just where I'm inserting my hook. So instead of going in between and underneath those top two loops, I'm coming from underneath and going back behind the two loops that are facing you. Then I'm yarning over. So I do love about the half double crochet stitch is it's so versatile. There's so many little places that you can enter your hook in so many different ways. So this is one of them. And when you turn your work over, you'll see that there's like a pretty little line that will form on the back of your 
of your work. So up and under those front two loops. And I do know it is so tricky to see in this velvet. But oh, if you could touch this velvet, it's amazing. It's so amazing. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going up and under those two loops. I'll work my way all the way to the end. And then the next row, we will do alternating berry stitch and single crochet. So why don't you work these all the way down to the end and then we will chain two and turn and I'll show you that next row. All right, before I turn, I want to tell you that it is very tricky to find this last stitch. So do your very best. I'm just kind of poking my hook in there. It'll all kind of blend together anyway. Just make sure that if we started with 20 chains, you should have 18 uh, half double crochets across the row. Chaining two and turning, just like that. And see, you're gonna see this little line start to form down one side of the work. It's really, really pretty. So, okay, let's get started on the next row. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna yarn over, and this chain two doesn't count as a stitch, so you're gonna wanna work in the very first stitch right here. Still look for underneath those front two loops. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And now all you're gonna do is yarn over and just pull through the very first loop, like that. Then yarn over again, insert your hook up and under this very same space, yarn over, and now pull through all the loops on your hook. That is a berry stitch. Kind of gives you just this nice little a uh, little, it'll kind of pop out towards the back because in the very next space, we're going to go up and under without yarning over and work a single crochet. And that will kind of really help that little berry to pop out in the back. Okay, we're going to alternate these across the row. So yarn over again, go up and under the front two loops, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now yarn over and just go through one. Just kind of like you're making a little chain right there almost. That's it. Yarn over, come back up underneath those front two loops, pull back up with a loop. And at, at, at this point, you should have five loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over and pull through all of them. Okay, next stitch, go for that single crochet up and under, just like that. Okay, let, let me show you that, that berry stitch one last time. I'm working up underneath those two loops, yarning over, pulling back through. I'm going to yarn over and just go through one loop. Now I have three loops on the hook. I'm gonna yarn over again, go right back underneath those same two loops, pull back through, I'm going so slow, <laughs> and now pull through all of them. Okay, so one thing I will say about this, this velvet, that even though you can't really see very clearly where you're going, it does, it's so slippery and nice that you, once you really get the hang of this pattern, I think you're gonna really enjoy it. You know, slide right through it. Um, the thing is, is that, oh my gosh, the finished project is just so amazing. They're so soft. Pros and cons to all the yarn, right? I mean, pros and cons, it's just, if we want it soft and cozy, <laughs> I think you have to struggle through not being able to see exactly where 
your hook goes. So anyway, I know I feel your pain if you're frustrated right now because you really can't see because it took me a while. It really did. But I guess you could also say, you know, if you do miss a spot, you know, grab an extra loop, it's not going to show. <laughs> I will tell you that, you know, it's not going to show because it's so cozy and this yarn is that. Okay, I will continue working to the end of the row and then I'll show you the next row and then the pattern pretty much repeats. So, okay. Hang in there. Look at those cute. Look at what you're making though. It's cute. All right. One little tip is that your last stitch will always be a single crochet. So you'll kind of keep track of it that way. Just wanted to show you the backside of your berries. Chain two and turn. Like a page in the book. Okay. Isn't that just so... So oh, pretty. Now what you're going to do is, guess what? We're going to do three rows of half double crochet, except you get a, a little bit of a break in that, you know, you can, of the berries, try and go up and under, you know, you'll see those front two loops, but on single crochet, obviously, there isn't any front two loops, so you don't have to worry about it. You just kind of go up on the berry stitch and then single crochet stitch but we're just going to work those half double crochets and then obviously the next two rows will just be all front loop half double crochet and so you're going to want to put three rows in between because um Oops. You want your berries to all land on the same side of the blanket. So this blanket definitely has a right side and a wrong side. Um, I don't know which, I mean, it has a front side and a back side, maybe. I'd rather say the front berries and, you know, are on one side and then the other. I think I might have done a regular half double crochet in that one but like I say you can't really tell <laughs> just kind of come back up under and then those next two rows should be easier and now on this row you'll know you'll hit that last stitch because it's it's that berry that we started with chain two and turn two rows of front two loop half double crochet starting right here okay so um the base chain for hannah's for the throw is 184 so any even number will work if you want to modify this pattern to a baby size blanket or if you wanted to make it an even bigger throw you can do that but this is the gist of it, and it's really, I'm just so pleased with how this pattern works, even though it is tricky. It'll keep you on your toes, that's for sure. Oh, but my gosh, look at that. So pretty, these subtle little, little berries, and then the lines start to form. And you can see that in the, in the, we'll put, have definitely more pictures of it in detail on our, on our website. And I think that's all you need to know. All the rest of the details of um, how many rows across she did um, will be on our website and the length. But really, I'm pretty sure you can, you know, end this blanket no matter what. Just end it on, on this type of a row. So good luck with your throw. It is gorgeous. All right, we'll see you later.